How's it going everybody? I'm Danny D, this is Seven Deadly Bananas, and we are about to watch Ren Gill. Sorry, actually, The Big Push. <laughs> Ren Gill, I'm assuming this is Ren Gill's band, or this is a band Ren Gill is in, either way you want to put it. This is their cover of I Shot the Sheriff, Road to Zion. <laughs> Definitely bringing his own vibe into it. You can still hear the chords. This is what I mean by being able to kind of put your own personality on it. Ah, he's using his fingers too. I'm all tapping on the table. <laughs> Look at the face! He's just into it, man. It's fucking good shit. I can see why he brings yes, up Jimmy all around in my hometown. People try to track me down. I love the vibe that he's bringing. I love everything about what he's doing right now. The fucking passion into the song, really trying to find his own world right there. Like to me, what that means is he's trying to, like for me, that that's like canceling out the audience. You're there maybe with only the band. You're trying to be just comfortable in your own skin. That's how I do it anyway, which is why I relate to him maybe closing his eyes. I don't know if he does it for the same reason, but I like to close my eyes and just kind of imagine I'm the only voice there. And then when I feel relaxed enough, I'll open my eyes and start really kind of getting into the to the performance aspect of it. He's singing with a Jamaican accent. I don't know if I would have chosen that. I feel like I would have more preferred to hear his voice fully on this song. I'm not knocking it at all. I almost feel like it's instinctive to go that route because it's sung by Bob Marley, you know. I would have loved to hear his voice 100% on it. People try to track me down Papa cried that that did not come me. Yes, if for a mother of a deputy, say for a life of a deputy. Just, ah, God, he's injecting so much emotion into it. And there's just little things, you know, that that just, it taps a little on the vocal coach thing, like I want to critique it, but knowing so far what I know about Ren Gill and the amount of passion and emotion he injects into the song, I just want to tell myself to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I just want to turn that part of my brain off because everything about Ren Gill that I've seen so far, his person, what he wears, his hair, how he holds the guitar, his pauses in the lyrics and the, what he was writing down, all of them are playing a piece in this amazing orchestra of one man. It's too hard to critique one thing when all of it is playing a piece, you know? So I'm just gonna try and turn, tell my vocal coach self to shut the fuck up if I can. Ooh. God damn, that's a note. There was something that I said in the last video, the, the, uh, the live version of Chalk Outlines. You know, he was doing some tension in his shoulders to hit a lot of these high notes, but I'm pretty sure I was right about the circumstances of that. It seemed like he was tired, like he had done a lot of takes, because he does all those things live, all these music videos live. So, you know, after a while of trying to hit those high notes over and over and over again, it's natural that, you know, the body would kind of get a little bit more involved in providing the tension you think you need to hit these notes again. I'm not seeing any of that right now. So it's, it's kind of confirming in my mind that that was definitely like maybe take 30 or take 40 uh, of that of Chalk Outline, where now he's like a little bit more refreshed. Maybe this is his first or second song of the set. Even if it's like the third or fourth song or towards the end of the set, he hasn't been like constantly singing the same notes over and over again. He seems a lot more relaxed. He seems a lot more in the zone. It just confirms what I thought with that last one. It, it makes me feel good. <laughs> So he's working on like, there's a slight level of improv with this. Nice, Marty. 
voice in self-defense I said Sheriff John Brown Oh shit hit it me. Ooh. Brings it in loud Bring it on the low side For what and I just don't know if you like that highlight and you want to see more of me watching this completely unedited, hit that link below, Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. Whenever I would try to plan to see <laughs> He would say kill it before it grow. God damn. But I say, I like the guy with the classic guitar in the back. That's solid. I did not shoot no deputy. It's a nice sized crowd for a street. Nice. But I swear it was in self defense. <laughs> oh, give it up for Romain Axiza, please, please, please. Oh, he's coming in. Of course he's coming in with his solos. There's definitely like a level of improv to this song. He's kind of going into like different voices. The drop down into the lower, like more speaking voice, that was obviously a little bit more characterized as well. I am loving where this is going. The one thing about covering other songs is a lot of people try to sound just as good as the person who originally sings it. But I don't even think that the original artist wants it to sound just like themselves. If they're appreciative of other people covering their songs, I feel like like me as an artist, I would more so appreciate someone's version of my song rather than like a complete copy. And Ren is destroying this right now. Like he's definitely playing with it a little bit in terms of like vocal acrobatics or anything. This is not one of those songs that you want to do it. This is an emotional, passionate song. And who better than Ren Gill to, to rock it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Very big changing in our face. It's just a straight up this. <laughs> there you go. That's how he starts having some fun. There you go. Nice and go. I'd be having so much fun as the guitar camera. In this world of calamity, dirty looks and grudges are jealousy. Media clowns, them when I'm using their butt up, but they. Media clowns, they're not for loving, but they're not for fighting. Boom! The young trends said, Wait a minute, what was that? <laughs> that was what? What? <laughs> He's making me want to go hear the original song now. I'm like, am I hearing these words right? I'm not sure. <laughs> I gotta hear that again. I gotta hear that again for sure. In this world of calamity, dirty looks and grudges of jealousy. Media clowns, them when I'm using their butt up, but they. Media clowns, they're not for loving, but they're not for fighting. Boom! The young trend said to come on, more than I don't know. <laughs> when I bust a trick, a finger like Bam Bam, we go do. When I bust a trick, a finger, come on, man, here we go. Press on me, nah, 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 here we go. To keep it moving on the road to Zion, got to keep it burning on the road to Zion, got to keep it burning on the road, got to keep it burning. That's awesome. It's like a kind of a ska scat thing. Oh shit. What? Okay. I nailed it. I said ska. <laughs> All there's missing is trumpets now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I 
Everyone's gotta love a good ska. <laughs> With a little bit of dog, we can make it through the night. With a little bit of dog, we can make it through the night. With a little bit of dog, we can make it through the night. Nice transitions. Oh man. That would be hard. That would be a hard one to do because I'd be dancing a little fast. Let's take it down, 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 keep it going, keep it going. Tempo still just here. Oh no, shut up. Shut up. Here is still bigger than him. Ha him. Ha him. Get the whole crowd in that shit. Here is still bigger than a him. Ha him. Oh, don't tell me you're about to rap. Hip, high, hip, still bigger than a hip. High, hip, high, hip, I jump in. One thing about music, when it hits, you feel no pain. Right folks, they control your brain. I'm no bad with that, that's game. I'm me ready with that. Two soldiers ahead of a pop, my pop, he's got the guy. Grab my army, I got a right time. No re I'm about to be sick, don't reflect on how many records are so. On set draws, I'm rock and roll. Whether your project or on home, in the real world, world. We just people with ideas. We just like you and me when the smoke and camera disappear again. The real world. It's bigger than all these fake ass records. When my poor folks got the millions, and my woman's disrespected. If you nice check one to my but if I buy to you, just relax. If that don't work, then do what you got to do and kick the facts. If you a liar, liar, boof, cliar, bush, cryer, agent with the wire, I'ma know it when I play it. But then if you a liar, liar, mouth on cryer, pants on fire, agent with the wire, I'ma know it when I play it. It's bigger than a hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. That was solid. That was fucking solid, especially the transition going from like the kind of ska to the fast pace of the of the real song and then transitioning back into like what they were doing for uh, I Shot the Sheriff. <laughs> fucking sick, dude. And he represented, he represented pretty well on those fucking lyrics. I don't know all the lyrics to that particular song. All of these songs mean something different to other people, everyone else, you know? Like you can either relate to it directly or you can bring your own context into it. And I feel like Ren, again, is such a prolific version of the artist who's able to do that so cleanly. Like just throw kind of caution to the wind and just be able to make it yours. And he's fucking killing this right now. Hit is still bigger than a hit. He's even changing it up a little bit. Hey, ha, he's not even. That'd be the scariest part of it for me, is like trying to improvise the scatting stuff. Nicely fucking done, dude. Nicely fucking done. That is like the epitome of just like the homies being at the house and just fucking playing a house party, which is literally my favorite kind of concert, if you ask me. There's a, there's one thing I noticed actually. Ren doesn't look at the audience. I didn't notice him. I, I mean, it may, I may have missed it, but for the most part, he was looking down at the ground and I, I, I feel like he was almost looking at the other guitarist, I almost want to say, but he had a fixed point he was looking at. Maybe the feet, he might be looking at people's feet. I've seen, I, I know a lot of people that do that. I don't I don't know if I've ever been not nervous getting up on stage. And you learn little tricks that just kind of help you stay away from paying attention to it. God, dude, Ren, you're killing it, man. Like this is, I, ah, oh, like I want to go see you live. I want to see you live. I don't know if I'll ever be able to. I don't know. If I move to Thailand, it's going to be much harder to come see you live. But I, I have to make it a point to do that. I have to make it a point to come see this guy live. So thanks again for watching, everybody. And I will see you on the next Lyrical Corner.